Mm -hmm. And then wrap it. And they can wrap it loose, you know, loosely. The tighter it's wrapped, the whiter the wool will stay. Mm -hmm. But they can put several rubber bands in a row and they would just go all around the skein and do that. Mm -hmm. Then when it gets dyed and the, the rubber bands are removed, this is what you'd get. Right, right. And this is a very rough ecot technique, I A K A T. Mm -hmm. And the ecot technique is, you know, the Middle East, um, uh, Turkmenistan, uh, all of those wonderful Iran. The stan countries. The stan countries, <laughs> as I call them, yes. And then this would be, you know, if you had a teacher, an art teacher that was willing to do, make little uh, looms for the kids, little mm -hmm. cardboard looms, and let the kids do a little bit of weaving, mm -hmm. they could weave this into fabric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And this could be really fun for some of the kids. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and I do believe that there are, you know, there's plenty, the, yeah, the skeins left over from, this is what's left over from the HRTC. Okay. So see, here's one that we wrapped with rubber bands and trash bags. Right, right. But the rubber bands would be easier for the kids to handle. Right, right. And then they don't have to have somebody hold it for them. So I would right. go for the rubber bands and not the trash can, the trash bags. Okay. Um, all right. So that's and yeah, I had that was the the Middle East area ikat, yeah. and we had either the stitching or the shaboy for like. I mean, those are. Yeah, I mean, every country like Africa can 